Today I'm going to show you how to tag and rename an entire library of music in a very short amount of time. The first thing you want to do is go to this website here. You want to download the version of Music Brains Picard for your operating system. After you download it, go ahead and install it. Open up the program. and you'll get an interface like this. First we want to set it up with a few preferences like fingerprinting. This should be filled in already but if it's not go ahead and download the FP Calc app and place it somewhere permanent on your computer if for some reason the fingerprinting is not working. You also have to go get an API key from AcousticID.org. You can log in with your Google name and it'll generate a new API key for you. Copy that, go back into Music Brains, and paste it in the API key area. Next, we want to set up our file naming. By default, it looks like this. That's track two of five by the Fantasies, the song called YOY. But I don't want that. I simply want the artist and the title with a dash between. So it will look like this. Next, we're going to go into General and just click on Automatically Scan new, All New Files. And that should be good. So I have a whole folder full of music that I need renamed and tagged appropriately. So I'm going to go to Add Folder and I'm going to pick my folder Songs to Tag, which has a bunch of randomly named files in it right now, you can see. Some of them are correct and some of them aren't. So I'm going to choose that and let it load in here. And since we set up our preferences for it to automatically scan, it's simply going to put them over here on the right side and collect all the tag information that it needs. It looks like it found the correct tags for all of our songs. So what we're going to do is select all on the right side and click on save. And it's going to go through and rename all of our songs correctly, as you can see here. So now they're all named correctly with the artist and the song title. And if we get more info, we can see that it has the album, year recorded, and other information, or whatever other software I wanted to put this song into.